Junior hits a home run, the Reds usually win. Since the start of the 2000 season, Cincinnati is 36 and 18 when Junior goes deep. When Griffey goes homerless, the Reds have a 79 and 108 mark. A 63 at bat drought ended for Junior last night in Milwaukee, and as the numbers would suggest, the Reds wound up with the victory. Bud Selig addressed the crowd at Miller Park before the ball game, the first in Milwaukee since last Tuesday's terrorist attacks. It was a scene much like those we've witnessed all across Major League Baseball this week. Lance Davis started for the Reds, and he got himself out of a first inning jam by getting Richie Sexton to bounce into the 5-4-3 double play. Game stayed scoreless into the fourth when Junior drops down a bunt. Sexton is unable to handle the toss from pitcher Ben Sheets. Todd Walker comes around from second to score the game's first run, and Sean Casey followed with a sack fly, giving the Reds a 2-0 lead. Milwaukee would come back to not the score. The Brewers got to Davis for a run in the bottom of the fourth. Jeremy Burnitz doubles into the right field corner, scores Richie Sexton, and cuts the lead in half. Milwaukee's second run came an inning later. Mark Loretta lines one into the gap. Adam Dunn lays out. Can't make the catch. Another run scoring double for the Brewers. Game tied to all. Frightening moment in the top of the six. We talked about it at the top of the show. Wilton Guerrero bunts. Mark Loretta covering first. And the two collide violently. Both lay motionless for several minutes as medical personnel rushed onto the field to assist them. Watch the replay. Guerrero sort of upends Loretta, who nearly lands on his head. Both players left the field under their own power. Guerrero suffered a mild concussion. He is day to day. After the short delay, Ken Griffey Jr. came to the plate, and Jr. hits his first ever home run at Miller Park, a three run long ball that moved the Reds on top 5 2. Lance Davis left the game after six, and the bullpen took care of business from there. Scott Sullivan strikes out Jeff Jenkins in the eighth, and with that K, the Milwaukee Brewers set a new major league record for most strikeouts in a season. Danny Gray's finished things off in the ninth, and the Reds post a 5-2 victory. Reds in Milwaukee tonight, Brewers third baseman Louis Lopez not going to be confused for Barishnikov. The Reds scored first tonight courtesy of... Our man Adam, that's his 15th homer since joining the Reds, his 50th overall this year, not bad at the age of 21. It was one of three solo homers the Reds hit tonight. Dimitri Young also dials eight for long distance. Shazam, that's his 18th of the year. Todd Walker launched one as well. Now, it wasn't just a long ball show. Check out this defensive effort by rookie catcher Corky Miller. Yes, Dimitri Young will make a strong throw to the plate, but Miller does an unbelievable job of blocking the dish to get the out at home. Jose Acevedo pitched six strong innings to pick up a win tonight, and Jose Rijo did a nice job wiggling out of a jam with runners at second and third in the seventh. The Reds take their second straight in Milwaukee tonight's final. Reds looking to sweep a three-game series in Milwaukee in the second inning, an all-too-familiar sight as Boone got hit by a pitch on the left thumb. It's broken. The third time this year, Aaron has suffered a fracture on his hand or wrist. Yikes. Later in that inning, the Reds were able to get on the board. Pitcher Elmer descends coming through with an opposite field single off Jamie Wright. It brought home Dimitri Young. One zip, red legs. On to the fifth. Adam Dunn at the plate. Adam Dunn strikes again. His 16th home run for the Reds this year, his 51st overall, Cincinnati up 3-1. But it didn't last. In the fifth, Alex Sanchez bloops a single to left, driving in Louis Lopez. The Brewers came from behind to beat the Reds 6-3. The Reds open a series in Philly on Tuesday.